Adobe Edge Reflow CC has had a very exciting update that I want to share with you. And quite frankly, just go to creativecloud.com and select download. Or if you already have it installed, you can go directly to your desktop and just hit update like I did. And probably the biggest feature request has been for multiple pages. And sure enough, you can add them now, as you can see right here. I've added an additional page, but all you need to do is click that plus button to add a page, or you can even duplicate a current layout just like this. You rename it accordingly and then start changing the content. Now, when it comes to changing content, what you can do is you can actually scrub through the various properties to change them, just like you can in Illustrator and Photoshop. So you can change the size, the spacing, even the position of this text here. You can also remove a page very easily, but what I want to do is I want to go ahead and preview it in a browser. Notice right here in the upper right, you can quickly toggle through the different pages. Now Reflow creates CSS. It's not meant to be an HTML editor, so this is how you toggle through the various pages. But you don't need to always preview in a browser to see your content, because all you really need to do is hit the tab key to go into preview mode. As you can see, it gives me the clean design with no margin visualization or selection lines, just gives me the design. Now when it comes to assets, since you have multiple pages, notice that your asset panel actually displays all of those assets and you can add them to any item that you want. For instance, a new feature is the ability to select a div and apply an image as a background. Then I can easily save this page and what happens is it will actually update the HTML as well, another feature request we've gotten from the community. Another request has been the ability to copy and paste visual styles. As you can see, that's easily done exactly as you'd expect it to be done. You can also easily see the div names at the bottom of my document right here. Now, when it comes to applying changes across multiple layouts, now you can apply a property across all regions, and now what you can do is just simply undo that, and it will do an undo across all of the various media queries. Another request has been if you draw out a shape, you can always hold down the command key or control key on a PC to switch or toggle between tools, between the selection tool and then the box tool. Those are just some of the updates to Adobe Edge Reflow CC. I encourage you to check it out on Creative Cloud now. Follow us on Twitter and thanks so much for watching.